and there were plenty of upsets on election night. But one of the big shocks came when the veteran Conservative MP Shailesh Vara lost his seat to 22-year-old Sam Carling. Yeah, and Mr Carling is now the joint youngest Labour MP in modern history, but says he doesn't want age to be an issue in his new career. Well, Sam Carling joins us, I guess, for one of your first interviews, maybe your first live interview on, on BBC Breakfast. So, uh, Sam, thank you for joining us this morning. Um, I guess a, an easy first question would be why you wanted to be an MP. Yeah, so, I mean, I grew up in quite a deprived rural <coughs> area in the northeast of England, and kind of over that, those years, saw quite a lot of things declining around me, so high streets in particular and schools. Um, six forms of local schools closing and leaving lots of people having to travel a really long distance to get to schools in the morning. And I never really made the connection to politics for a couple of years after that when I was in the cohort of students, the first one, whose A-level results were cancelled during the pandemic. And as a result of that, I became a lot more interested in sort of what's going on politically. Uh, and I kind of then got, got involved myself, ran to be a councillor, did that for a couple of years and have just been elected as a member of parliament. You, you graduated from Cambridge University. You're clearly a, a bright guy. Um, a slightly trickier question, then. One of the criticisms of MPs is that they are, you, you know, many of them don't have real-world experience. You've touched on some of it there, but at 22, can you really offer real-world experience and to bring that to the House of Commons? Well, I have a lot of experience that older members of Parliament won't. You know, I've been renting insecure housing in the private sector for quite a while now. And that's an issue facing not just young people, but people all across the age spectrum. And it's something that I intend to do a lot of work on now that I'm in Parliament. So it's, I always get a little bit frustrated when people mention life experience, because no one has yet been able to explain to me why being older makes you better at the job. We've well, got more uh, experience, I think that's why. But what kind of experience? Well, <laughs> by definition, over the years, you gain more experiences, don't you? But what kind of experience, right? What life experience? No one's been able to... Well, we're going around in a circle there, aren't we? Oh, no, um, good, no, good for you, Stu. No, good for you batting back. But, you know, <laughs> you can talk about all the things you just mentioned of renting, jobs, mm. children, children's services, looking after old people, old elderly relatives, health care issues, all the sorts of things that you get over a lifetime. That's, that's the point. Yeah, I mean, look, as I said before, I've had a lot of experiences that lots of older MPs won't have had. And I've done quite a lot for my age as well. I mean, I've been a councillor for a couple of years and a cabinet member responsible for about £17 million of public money over the last year. Um, I've been a trustee of a university and I've done a lot of other things that perhaps wouldn't necessarily be typical for someone of my age. Sam, uh, Sarah, congratulations uh, again you. to you for being elected. Um, I wonder what your peer group make of this. Uh, we talk a lot, don't we, about sort of younger people a bit disaffected with politics, disaffected mm. with politicians. What have they made um, to you going into Parliament and going in as the baby of the House? Yeah, well, obviously it's been a bit of a, a whirlwind. I kind of have immediately after the results started getting messages from all around the place. Pretty much everyone I've ever met in my entire life uh, suddenly wants to congratulate me, which is very kind. Um, and. It's interesting that I've been recognised a couple of times, uh, just on my way to the, to the studio this morning, actually, um, and on the train yesterday and such, like, mostly by young people, because I seem to have gone viral on TikTok overnight, uh, and I didn't have TikTok, actually, uh, until I downloaded it yesterday, basically just to see what was going on there. Um, and there's a couple of million views on the little um, clip that I recorded immediately after the election result. So it has cut through actually to quite a lot of young people and I'm hoping over my time in Parliament I'll be able to just really demonstrate that young people are just as capable as anyone else and in doing so help more young people to, to come forward really. Good for you and just a final question Sam, have you, have you been to Parliament yet? When are you going? What are you looking forward to most? I am going immediately after this interview actually um, and after I've just been to visit Radio 4 as well. Um, uh, so that'll be my first visit after I've been elected. I have visited before just as a member of the public. Um, I suppose I'm just looking forward to getting a look around and seeing how everything works and sort of getting all the behind the scenes information that's going to be equally exciting to me as it is to many other people. Yeah. Get the keys to your office, pick up your parliamentary pass and everything else. We wish you Hopefully. well. Hopefully. Thank, thank you. Thank you so thank much for coming me. on the programme and, and good for you batting back as well. Um, yeah, I'm sure you'll have plenty of that to do in the years ahead. Sam Carling, who is the youngest MP in the House of Commons aged 22 now.